Blaine Taylor here with Matt Matheny. What we want to do today is kind of step away from the basketball a little bit and just talk about Matt Matheny the man and kind of get to know you a little bit. And there's some things that I find interesting. You were really recruited to college to play football and then ended up playing basketball in addition. Can you tell us about that a little bit? Well, I always loved basketball, but, uh, but I was not gifted with great size, speed, shooting ability, athleticism anything like that. So uh, I played high school football and um, we had some success as a team and as a result I got recruited to Davison to play football um, but as soon as I got there one of the first questions I had for anybody on campus was can I walk on the basketball team. Coach McKillop then came the next year so I'm playing football and as soon as he got the job I went to him and said hey coach you know I, I walked on the team last year mm -hmm. Can I walk on the team again? And he said, there's no way you'll make my team. <laughs> so I didn't make his team <laughs> for a couple of years. But then uh, he uh, invited me to come back out my last two years at Davidson. So I was able to play both and uh, uh, had really, really good experience. That's interesting, uh, it interested that Bob uh, McKillop ends up calling you back from Germany to be an assistant coach. You're over there playing football after college, is well, that correct? It's interesting because um, I was graduating and I had an opportunity to play American football in Germany and uh, there was an opening on Coach McKillop's staff and uh, again I went to Coach McKillop and said you know you have an opening on your staff uh, I'd love to be one of your assistant coaches and he said no. <laughs> <laughs> what he really said was he was hoping to, to find somebody with a, a great deal of experience for the position and um, a couple months went by. He called me while I was in Germany and offered me the job, and uh, that's how I got started in coaching. That's interesting. Well, you've had all these paths, but uh, you know, going to Statesville, Shelbyville, uh, Davidson, Elon, you've been within a stone's throw of yourself forever. I don't even know if you have a passport. I guess you did go to Germany. <laughs> but what's it like to just have lived in the same region for so long? I mean, there's got to be some really uh, neat things about that. Well, uh, I speak the dialect down here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And, and here's one of the neat things. Um, we have a, a lot of family very, very close. Mm. So uh, in an Eline game, if you look into the stands, my wife and uh, my son Brock and my daughter Ava, they're at every home game. Uh, my, my mother comes to almost every home game. She lives still in Davidson. My father lives in Concord. He comes to every home game. It's a family affair. I've always thought that winning didn't really define success. I, I really thought there was more to it. How do you define success in one sentence? Well, I love the game. I love the game, and I love to win games, and I love our program to succeed. But uh, as I reflect back over years, uh, some of the greatest victories are graduation day and seeing guys walk across stage and get their diploma. And as they walk across, I mean, you know, there's, there's an excitement for them, but you, you can reflect back on their last four years and the, the trials that they've had and, and the good days that they've had and maybe some of the challenging days that they've had. And uh, that, that's success to me. That says it. Thanks so much, Matt. Sure enjoyed visiting with you. Best of luck to you, my friend. Thanks, Blaine.